$83 billion. Spend it like Elon Musk. Hey everyone and welcome back to Richly. Elon Reeve Musk, CEO and Chief Architect of Tesla Incorporated, or more famously known by its former name of Tesla Motors Incorporated. As of November 2020, Musk is the second richest person in the world behind Amazon's Jeff Bezos, according to Forbes, with an estimated net worth of 132 billion US dollars. In the automotive manufacturers industry globally, he is the longest serving CEO in history, as CEO of Tesla since 2008. Today we're going to talk about how Elon Musk spent his 83 billion dollars. Now make sure you stay till the end, as you definitely want to know how the second richest man in the world spends his fortune. It all started with programming. At the age of 10, Elon developed an interest in programming and taught himself using a manual. At the age of 12, Musk sold the source code for his first video game for $500. In 1995, Musk moved to California from Pennsylvania, where he had graduated with a dual bachelor's in economics and physics after he was accepted to a PhD program in energy physics and material science at Stanford University. It was there that he decided to join the dot-com bubble and launch an internet startup and dropped out of Stanford only two days after joining. Raking in the big bucks. The first company he started with his brother Kimball and Greg Corey was Global Link Information Network, or ZIP2, in 1995. The company developed and marketed an internet city guide for the newspaper publishing industry, with maps, directions, and yellow pages. During this time, Musk could not afford an apartment and slept on the office couch and showered at the YMCA. And as they only had one computer, he was coding at night, and the website was up during the day. He would be coding all the time, seven days a week. The Musk brothers found success when they got contracts from the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune. In February 1999, Zip2 was acquired by Compaq for 307 million US dollars, of which Musk got 22 million for his 7% share. With 10 million from the sale, Elon co-founded X.com, an online financial services and email payments company in March of 1999. In 2000, they merged with Confinity, which later became PayPal and was acquired by eBay in October of 2002 for 1.5 billion US dollars, of which Elon received 165 million for his 11.7% shares. An avid reader as a kid, Musk was influenced by Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, and drew lesson from the, you should try to take a set of actions that are likely to prolong civilization, minimize the probability of a dark age, and reduce the length of a dark age if there is one. This formed the basis for his conception of space exploration and gave birth to SpaceX in May of 2002, with $100 million from his early fortune. And by 2016, Musk's private trust held 54% of SpaceX stock. The Master Plans A self-confessed workaholic, Musk does not spend money on lavish vacations or expensive hobbies. Known to work 80 to 90 hours a week, most of his time is spent in offices or factories, only retreating to one of his four mansions at the end of the day. And this is where he spends most of his fortune. In February 2004, Elon Musk led the first series of investments into Tesla Motors, formed in 2003 by engineers Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, by investing 6.5 million of the 7.5 million raised. And with this, Musk also got the title of co-founder of Tesla. When asked, Elon Musk said the master plan was to build a sports car, use that money to build an affordable car, use that money to build an even more affordable car, while doing above, also provide zero emission electric power generation options. The first electric sports car by the company, the Tesla Roadster, was launched in 2008. This became the first serial production all-electric car to use a lithium-ion battery, with 2,500 models sold over 31 countries. The four-door Model S sedan was launched in 2012, and the third car, Model X, in 2015. In addition to this, Tesla has also delivered electric powertrain systems to Mercedes and Toyota after the reopening of their Numi plant. In line with the master plan, Musk favored the production of a more affordable Tesla car. This led to the unveiling of the Model 3 in 2016. At the base price of $35,000, it is the world's best-selling electric car in history, having already sold 500,000 units. Interestingly, Musk had wanted to name the car the Model E, but roadblocked by Ford who held the trademark. With Musk concluding, Ford was killing sex. Anticipating the shortage of supply of lithium-ion battery to sustain the future production of Tesla automobiles, Musk announced part two of his master plan in July of 2016. That is to create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product lineup to address all major segments, including small SUV and pickup truck, develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual via massive fleet learning, enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. Also, at the same time, Tesla began developing Autopilot, their advanced driver assistance system, in-house, after Mobileye ended its partnership. Musk owns 20.8%, or 38,658,670 shares as per reports on December 2019. 
The SpaceX program has already become a pioneer in the space exploration arena. Going against popular belief of industry experts about the impossibility of making reusable rockets, Musk believed the key was to making space travel affordable. On contract with NASA since 2006, and an additional contract of $1.6 billion for shuttle services for cargo resupply to the International Space Station in 2008, SpaceX was to provide 12 flights of its Dragon spacecraft and Falcon 9 rocket to replace the retiring U.S. Space Shuttle in 2011. On May 25, 2012, the Dragon spacecraft birthed with the ISS, making history as the first commercial company to launch and birth a vehicle to the International Space Station. And on December 22, 2015, SpaceX successfully landed the first stage of its Falcon rocket back at the launch pad, the first time this had been achieved by an orbital rocket. His trust already owns 54% stock, or an equivalent of 78% voting rights. In late 2016, Musk formed the infrastructure and tunnel construction company, The Boring Company. The idea of forming the company was on a premise that traffic is awful. When there are miles and miles of unused earth beneath roadways, traveling above ground isn't necessary. The company's goal is to reduce the cost of tunneling while also speeding up production. Boring Company hopes to achieve this by making smaller tunnels and creating its own high-power boring machines. It is also working on the open-source, high-speed transportation system known as the Hyperloop, based on the concept of a VAC train which was envisioned by Musk himself in 2003. When not actively spending on his business, Elon Musk is known to engage in other forms of investments and collections. He owns a 47-acre estate which features a 10-bedroom Mediterranean-style mansion built in 1916 in Hillsborough, California, a high-end location of the San Francisco Bay Area with the market value of roughly $35 million. He also owned a 16,000 square feet, seven-bedroom mansion in Los Angeles' Bel Air neighborhood, valued at $29 million. A few of the other properties owned by Musk total to roughly $40 million. In other vanity collections, Musk paid nearly $1 million for a rare 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car that was used in the filming of the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. He also owned a McLaren F1, which Musk said he wrecked after buying it for $1 million. In 2017, Musk purchased the domain x.com from PayPal for an undisclosed amount, explaining that it had sentimental value to him. Propelling into the future Though Musk has said that most of his investments are in his own companies, he has also indulged in many projects that are humane-centric. In 2014, he had declared that Tesla would allow its technology patents to be used by anyone in good faith in a bid to entice automobile manufacturers to speed up the development of electric cars. Most of his plans and finality want affordable technology and machines which will make the human life easier and safer in the future. Musk has frequently spoke about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence, calling it the most serious threat to the survival of the human race. Despite this, Musk has invested in firms like DeepMind and Vicarious, both companies working in artificial and machine intelligence. Musk also gave $10 million to the Future of Life Institute in a global research program aimed at keeping artificial intelligence beneficial to humanity, and also created and co-founded OpenAI and Neuralink. He also bought solar city with the aim of providing affordable renewable energy solutions. In philanthropy, Musk has joined the Warren Buffett and Melinda and Bill Gates organizations. The Giving Pledge. The Musk Foundation donated $250,000 for a solar project in Soma, Japan, which had been ravaged by a tsunami. He also donated $1 million to the building of Tesla Science Center at Wardenclyffe in tribute to Nikola Tesla and the tree planting initiative to plant 20 million trees at hashtag Team Trees respectively. In 2018, Bloomberg had reported that over $6 million in anonymous donations had been made to the environmental group Sierra Club. It was later found out that Musk had asked the group to publicize the donations to offset the $88,000 to Republican parties at that time. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to get updates of more interesting videos. See you there!